Welcome back to our stupid reaction. <laughs> Do it again. Uh, <laughs> Do it like ten times. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the break. Uh, <laughs> I've made a new button. What's going on in that room? Nothing, Mom. None bar. <laughs> <laughs> made some new buttons. Oh. Um. <laughs> Anyways, what are we doing? Welcome back. Welcome back. Your dreams were your ticket out. Party, nur, nur, nur. Today we got another best ever food review show, India. Yay! Why South Indian street food destroys North Indian street food? Say it's, what? Those are fighting words. Well, yeah, that's probably why they put it in the <laughs> truly, truly, truly. They're like, how dare you know this not? <laughs> well, we do know that North Indian food really does produce some of the best, best South, South Indian, Indian food. food. Yeah. If you want real South Indian food, go to Delhi. If you want real food and not that little baby crap stuff from North India, am I right? That's what I'm talking right about. Sorry, just trying to make points. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be my favorite button now. Yeah. Uh, I need to edit it, though. Because I feel like they pause it in the front just too much. Uh. Here we go. How about this? Oh. There you go. Yeah, that's more act. That's let's straight hit the button and it's right there. Oh. Yeah. Uh, uh, I hope you guys don't have your headphones on. <laughs> Me too. Just moms in the back. Yeah, exactly. Hey! What's going on in there? Banta! Nothing, Mom. I'm just watching YouTube. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, here we go. <laughs> I shouldn't be allowed to have buttons. Here we go. In this video, I'll be showing you five reasons why South Indian food absolutely destroys North Indian food. But first, let's back up. For those of you not living in India, you may be surprised to know that North Indian food is quite different from South Indian food. What? I don't believe it. What? South Indian food is considered to be one of the most well-recognized cuisines around the world. Mm. Renowned for its crispy dosas, coconut-infused curries, and an abundance of rice-based dishes. It's coming out of the giant rice cooker that would make any Asian lady in Korea jealous. But how would these flavors shape the cuisine in Chennai, the capital of Tamil Nadu, in the southernmost state of India? Well, today, we're gonna find out. From a pancake bursting with savory curry goodness, challenging the best of any Waffle House menu. It became a uh iconic dish here. All the way Waffles to a biryani pancakes. factory, churning out 15,000 pounds of rice every day. French toast. Every day, normally 5,000 to 7,000 kgs of biryani. It's definitely not pancakes. Sundays, we are making 10,000 to 12,000 kgs. So get ready, because we're taking a tour of the most iconic South Indian treasures from Chennai. <laughs> In our journey with Chennai's favorite cheap breakfast dish, a donut that's stolen the hearts of Tamil Nadu's locals since its creation in 1951. Uh, 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 crispy cream? Yes. Like your mom. Uh. Introducing Medu Vada. This famous South Indian breakfast is crafted using one of India's most highly prized and expensive legumes, the legume known as black gram, exclusively grown in the southern part of India and also northern Bangladesh and Nepal. But that is it and it is very exclusive. <laughs> To make this dish, start by blending the black gram soaked overnight into a thick batter. Next, add our seven spice ensemble. Black pepper, cumin, <clears throat> aromatic curry leaves, zesty green chilies, red onions, a dash of salt, and a hint of pepper root. Mix everything well. Then take a blob of batter and with a little thumb magic, sculpt it into a donut mm. shape I before dropping it into the fryer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! 
This trick ensures our donuts cook up evenly, giving you that perfect crunch from the outside to the inside. Once they are perfectly golden brown, take them out and serve. Yeah. I Unlike love that sugary holes. cousin, this savory donut brings all the heat. It's a flavor journey, a pilgrimage of pleasure, where legumes mm. and spices collide into a spicy tango, mm. unleashing a pepper and curry explosion. And in the texture department, oh, it's a tag team effort, a crispy coat embracing a fluffy cloud-like center. Fun fact, Madhu means soft, while Vada is a type of Indian savory fritter. You learn something new every day? Yep. Soft fritters. Now, Whoa. introducing an irresistible sweet sensation that steals the spotlight at every public holiday or wedding in Chennai. Get ready for a sugar rush, because this egg-based delight is not holding back. I'm not kidding. It packs a whopping 10 pounds of sugar. Oh, when will shit. you guys believe me? This thing is going to be very, very sweet. Let's take a look. Actually, Mukta Mithai bolte hai ki Mukta means aake Tamil mein yet bolte hai. And Mithai bolne ka matlab ki Urdu mein jo bolte Mithai, so Mukta Mithai, yek sweet bolte hai is common bhi. Wo taste bhot acha laga mujhe. Baad mein khane khane mein mujhe dil mein laga ki yehi business kyu karo. Baad mein ye concept utha ke mein business chalu kia. Uska naam jo hai Salim Sweet. Behold the Mata Mitai. This recipe emerged just over six decades ago, casting a spell on the taste buds of Tamil Nadu ever since. Whoa. Now it's the star dessert at almost every local event. First things first, crack a couple dozen eggs into a bowl. Yes, I said dozen. Many dozens. Next, the koya. It's a thick dairy ingredient, somewhat similar to dry ricotta cheese, made from dried whole milk or whole milk thickened on an iron pan. Carefully fold that into the egg. Follow that with all the sugar you can find at Indian Costco. Here, it was more than 10 pounds. That's crazy. While folding, add the magical ingredient. No, not more sugar. I'm talking ghee? about ghee, also known as clarified butter. Wow. Now place it over a gas stove and using a hand blender, mix everything well until it gains a custard-like texture. For the final step, glaze up a tray with a bit of ghee and pour in our eggy mixture. Bake everything for six hours and serve. Six hours, wow. Dang. Imagine like a, a smoky, creamy egg custard with a seriously sugary kick. Blame it on the ghee or the irresponsible oh. volume of sugar. But despite its simplicity, this treat is bursting with rich, intricate flavors that'll leave you craving for more. It looks amazing. It's kind of like flan a little bit. Chennai, a massive coastal hotspot in India. It boasts a cuisine that's heavily influenced by its oceanic surroundings. Seafood reigns supreme here, served up in countless delicious ways. But the seafood that's topping the charts, the legendary fish fry. Mm. Seriously, it's everywhere. Oh, that looks so good. Hello to the palm frit fish fry, known locally as Baval Min Baruval. This spicy, shallow fried delight has that magical power to turn everyone into a die hard seafood enthusiast. Oh, that looks Even great. though one cousin with a seafood allergy would give it all up to try this. You'll see why as we get to the cooking lady's secret steps. That was macabre. First, she carefully washes the pomfret fish, then scores its entire body using the traditional boti knife. Next up, the spice game begins. She adds salt, turmeric powder, red chili powder, and fenugreek powder. You probably thought she was done. Well, you thought wrong. After a few splashes of water, she adds a blend of ginger, turmeric, and fish masala. Mix it up for those flavors to mingle and work their magic. Finally, it's frying time. 15 to 20 minutes till it's crispy to the bone. This dish, it's the epitome of comfort food in Tamil Nadu. Oh, the pumpkin fish, white, flaky, and oh so oh. tender. After a solid 20 minutes in that oil, it's crispy on the outside and fall off the bone soft on the inside. Wow. Simple yet delicious. And now your cousin with a seafood allergy is dead. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Get ready to dive into the ultimate dosa experience. We're talking a dosa stuffed to the brim with juicy mutton curry, an egg I surprise, and all of it topped with even more spiced drenched mutton. This, my friends, could very well be the heavyweight champion of meaty dosas. Wow. Simakal Konarka Days is a restaurant which is originated in Madurai in a place called Simakal around 1943. So after uh, 20 years of time, 1963 around, Hari Dosa specific dish has been invented. It is invented by Mr. Manikam Konar. His father, Mr. Sundram Konar, founded Hari uh, Konarka Day. And so from then, uh, almost 8 years it has been uh, here. From that time, uh, it, uh, it has started the story of Hari Dosa. <laughs> Let's dive into Chennai's culinary wonders, dosas and curries. But why settle for one or the other when there's a dish that masters both? Meet the mutton curry dosa, one of the city's most magical food wow. creations. Wow. Step one, spread that dosa batter on the hot tawa. Step two, top it with a dose of rich mutton brain gravy. Did he say mutton brain Step gravy? Three, crack an know. egg right on top and mix it all together to create a fatal 15 car pileup of flavor in your mouth. <laughs> Good lord. Step four, enter the star ingredient, mutton suka. If it came from a cow, we would call it brisket. But this is intensely seasoned chest Good meat that's been God. cooked low and slow. Flip it, let that meat caramelize, and oh you've got yourself word. a dosa fit for royalty. That looks amazing. Wow. This dish is experienced in layers. First, a crispy, nearly violently seasoned mutton meat kicking off the flavor parade, followed by a creamy curry mixed with egg at the heart of it all. Wow. And to seal the deal, the final layer, a warm, slightly crispy dose of batter that ties everything together. That's amazing. I want it in my mouth. Before we put an end to this onslaught of South India's culinary excellence, let's shine a spotlight on the ingredient reigning supreme, not just here, but across all of India. I'm talking about rice, basmati rice. And if there's a dish that's the ultimate rice ambassador, it's biryani. For our final escapade, we're making a pitch stop Street at a biryani, biryani factory where they're churning out a mind-blowing 11 to 15,000 pounds of biryani each day. That's almost enough biryani to feed your mom. <laughs> Style, well done. Muslim wedding biryani. Biryani was popular by Muslims because they only brought it to the Tamil customs by the wedding biryani. They know about the cooking timing and uh, dumb biryani. That is yeah. only the special thing. So Muslims are using mostly dumb biryani. That is a fine quality biryani compared with any other style. Dumb biryani is the most favorable for all the people. Our biryani is not so spicy compared with other biryanis. And uh, our biryani is easily digestible. Biryani is probably one of the first dishes that comes to mind when you mention Indian cuisine. But yep. did you know there are over 70 different varieties of biryani? Here they make that. it in the dumb style. Actually, I thought it was 69. <laughs> And that is dum spelled D-U-M. This style originated from the Arabic Peninsula, and it's more similar to a plum than other classic biryanis. Instead of layering in the ingredients as usual, they mix everything together in a huge pot. Start by frying up red onions with ghee in a giant cauldron. Once they're golden, add ginger garlic paste and diced tomatoes. For seasoning, add salt, turmeric powder, and red chili powder. Now it's time for the protein. Here, they like to wash the chicken thighs, season them with turmeric powder, then drop them in the main cauldron, followed by water and fresh coriander leaves. Finally, add the par-cooked rice and let it boil for another 45 minutes to complete the dish. Ugh. When the cooking is finally complete and the lid is removed, you'll be greeted oh. by something glorious. Despite its colossal production, this biryani is on a whole different level. Every grain of rice is infused with those aromatic spices, making each bite an absolutely blissful experience. Now that we've gone through the most iconic dishes in Chennai, showing off the amazing variety South India has to offer, it's time for us to pick our favorite. Was it the crispy medu vada, the eggy mutta the flavor-packed mutton, mutton, mutton curry dosa, dosa, the legendary the fish. fish fry, or the mouth-watering no, biryani? The fish at all. Yeah, that did not look good to me. 
Today, the biryani stole the show for me. The mastery of crafting such oh, yeah, delectable food on a grand scale and then serving thousands with affordable, high-quality dishes, well, that is just plain old worthy of my respect. So how about you? Which one of these Chennai classics would you try for yourself? All Let me them. know downstairs in the comments below. And for more indulgent However, feasts for your senses, be sure to subscribe to Best Ever that Food it destroys India. destroys North Thanks. Indian food, and he said nothing about North Indian food to make a comparison about it. It's just provocative language is all. It's clickbait. Maracha! Exactly. Killian's crying again. Drowned out my child's cries. <laughs> That's what I do when he's crying. I'm just like, I can't yeah. hear you. Have you seen the, the the reels and videos that are around of how to stop your kid by crying by, by throwing a slice of cheese on him? Yeah. It, it's great. Have you, have you tried it? I threw a piece of cheese on Leland a long time ago. Did it work? It wasn't crying. I just threw oh. a piece of cheese on him. I, 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 I really want to try that. Just. Uh, it see if it stops. Young. When he was young. See if yeah. it stops crying. Oh, hungry. Yeah. Very hungry. That was, as always, that those are always briyani. great videos. The mutton briyani looked really I mean, great. I'm not, uh, the, no. The mutton, yeah, I know uh, what you dosa. meant. The mutton, that dose. Oh. The briyani looked great, too. <sighs> but I don't know about that because I love, like, Dosa for breakfast, that's a pretty heavy duty rich breakfast right there. Pretty heavy duty rich thing right there. Mm -hmm. Um dang. Uh, so what what do you guys think? None bar. I need to edit that one because I need it to too big of a pace space in the front. Yeah, too big of a space. Yeah. Um None bar. There you go. None bar. <laughs> what do you think? None bar. Do you think it was good? And it's better None than uh, North. I don't know. There's, it, there was no. <sighs> Whatever. It's fine. I'm sure he has a video that says, Why North Indian street food destroys South Indian street food? As long as it gets the comments going. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's why we say a bunch of stuff we don't mean. Always. To get the comments going. It's for the comments and the free cocaine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was like, Rocky or Ronnie is my favorite. I did that just so you guys would. Yeah. Yeah. We never say anything we actually mean here. No. We really. This is all of a We, we don't think that uh, LJP is that good of a filmmaker. That's true. Uh, I mean, header's crap. Everybody knows that. That's true. Yeah. Uh, but we much prefer. Well, we don't even really like Indian anything, do we, Corbin? I mean, really. Maybe, maybe some Bengalis. Maybe. Maybe. Pondu. <laughs> that one's a too big of a space as well. I need to edit it. I need to edit it. It almost sounds like I'm saying pondu, which I'm sure is a completely different word that my wife would say. Uh, you shouldn't be saying that. More like bone do. Am I right? Oh yeah. What else should I add to my little thing here? Pondu. <laughs> Bookwas. Dosed. None bar. Oh. Pondu. Oh. This is this is you at night. Oh. Pondu. Oh. Pondu. Oh. Yep. Pondu. It's about right. That's our that's our love speak. Oh. Pondu. Oh. Pondu. I should not be allowed to have buttons. No. I should. No be. more buttons for you, sir. Oh, anyways. Have you had any of these foods? I want to do Are another. they as good as they look? I'm going to do another food video soon. It's we got to go over to the kitchen. I don't want to go over to your fucking kitchen. Not my kitchen. Oh, okay. The Andouri chicken, the Tandoori Andouri place that's owned by the former food truck of, I don't know if it's former, they may still do it, the, the Bollywood food truck. So it's any good. It's no. been a long time. Well, I was going to say it's been a long time since I've had Indian food, but my wife makes stuff all, all the time. But there's, oh. there's not a... There's not really great Indian places around. Once you've had oh, real Indian do. food. Pondu. Oh. Pondu. <laughs> Having fun? <laughs> we need to make one that's just... We need to make one... Hold on. <laughs> you gonna make one right now? Mm. What are we doing? <laughs> What's going through your evil mind...
That's anytime you talk about Andrani. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Rick, Rick's like, oh, to my, to my, uh, my sweetheart. My sweetheart. Oh, oh, Andrani. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's what we're missing, but we wanted Ashley what? to do it. We're missing it so juicy. Yeah, we are missing it yeah. so juicy. <laughs> <laughs> Just anytime you talk about Andrani. Oh, oh, Andrani. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it should be. It should. <laughs> it should be like, did you know I'm married to a Bengali? <laughs> Just anytime you mentioned anything Bengali. That's true. Wouldn't you be? Did you know I'm married to a Bengali? Um, what else we need? White devil. White devil. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime we mention Mark Bennington. <laughs> I don't know. Don't give me buttons. It's not it's good. Very, oh, very bad. Oh, and <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to end the video now. <laughs>